Yo, yo. Yo, yo. What's up, y'all? Let's continue this. Twelve percent. Let's go. Continue. Welcome. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Ah, yes, yes, Very, right here. This place, right? Dad would have been more over the top than I would like. How did you? Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects. Installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track. I made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. Hmm. Wow. That's money may have gotten the ball rolling, but my job is to put it to work. Making the world a better place. Hey, lady. Yeah, how is your day going? Anyone watching this? First, I'm I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Here, follow me. Can't walk off to. I can't walk off too far. Really acclimating to daycare. Well, David's often his own little world, but Annie is Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool! These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. Right. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away from the Bee patrol on duty. Oh, nice! Yes! Yep! In practice, each bee wolf we can eliminate will save the lives of hundreds of bees. Gotta protect the hive! Hey, I programmed that drone. Don't Come get You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We've got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to No, I wanna keep going. I got more. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about. 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. 
Now up ahead yeah, is the medical sick. research area. We're doing cutting edge proton beam work. Using proton instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's they all are. the stuff we talked and about. Talk the all the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. <laughs> nice to see you again. Interesting, this guy. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad yeah, believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? I wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh, yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Welcome to entomology. <laughs> What are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? <laughs> Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Fish, research subjects. Want to mm. feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco friendly roofing materials. So cool. Love this place. My bad. Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. A reminder. Let's start paying off the mortgage. Uh, what if Spidey work gets in the way? 
Gotta think this through before signing on. Welcome to entomology. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Okay. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement hmm. organs, increasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chance. Of Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. I wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of Whoops. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton <laughs> beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school, to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the. L Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Rebora Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? <laughs> I honestly think it's wonder what it will spot. say if you didn't feed the fish. Harry probably would have said everything, uh, Peter said. This way, dude. Got it. Mm -hmm. 
This laboratory is currently the testing ground for our GMO crops, examining real-world productivity and nutritional content in plants that have been optimized. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Chip. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Hmm. Huh. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations mm. patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open mm. source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Mm. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. I just did some random shit. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. <laughs> Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. 
Right here. Go ahead. I really swipe. Security. <laughs> This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. <laughs> Damn. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. Mm. You join me? There's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. One thing. Mm. Can I move my desk over there? I like <laughs> to face the wall. Right <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, one quick thing. Time to transition out of my tutoring job. <laughs> of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> Where's it gonna go wrong? Oh no! Damn it. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. <clears throat> hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. Uh, but I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the... Skills. Oh, shit. Strong at the lesser hits left, brute enemies. <laughs> Traversal. Hmm. 
Oh, wait a minute, I think I can... Oh, no, I can't yet, yeah, here. Yeah. Hmm. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust mm -hmm. me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Miles is not gonna stay. Oh, wait. Miles is not gonna stay still. He's still gonna go. Hope Dr. Foster. Hmm. What are these? Excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to Feed the Community, starting by a our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Hmm. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. <sighs> Am I going? Like right, just right here, maybe. I don't want to fuck up. Oh shit! Okay. Should be something around here. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. Really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs oh, open shit. source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic uh... systems. Mm. Let's see. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Yikes, gotta patch this up. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. by that card. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? I 
think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Nice. to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... Uh, everything. I'll call him right now. But don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. <sighs> Especially that French one. <laughs> Sometimes you're just too romantic. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Spider-Man, over here! Ah! Hey, Chief. Thanks for coming. What's up, G? We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open, and make sure nobody touches that detonator. No. Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy mm. proud. Oh, baby. All right. If I find the people, Clark gets them out. I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Holy fuck, that actually scared me. Oh my god.
Hey, Clark, did you get the last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. Somebody up ahead a few minutes ago. Purple jacket. Make sure you help them. Hey, Clark. I just sent a new location your way. But this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? I'm not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on it. He had a gas mask on. Interesting. What the hell? I just, I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Mm. Painfully. Ooh. Let's go. Get out of here! Oh, the fool's speaking! Prophecy said you'd face us eventually. Prophecy? Oh man, I've always wanted to be in one of those. Not crazy about the nickname though. Oh. This would be a great guess. So, what's my prophecy? Endless fighting? Death by buildings? Grow four yeah. arms and become a giant man spider? To burn with the rest of the unworthy. That's it. <laughs> oh, no, what? Oh, the fool's beacon. The prophecy said you'd face us eventually. 
Prophecy? Oh, man, I've always wanted to be in one of those. Not crazy about the nickname, though. Everything burns! I found the Spider-Man! So, what's my prophecy? Endless fighting? Death by building? Throw four arms and become a giant man spider? Do you doubt your mercy? Oh! Whoa, guys, can we take this outside? Is everyone okay? Besides me knocking you out, obviously. We are better than you ever will be. Take your place with the unworthy. Who are you people? The only ones worthy enough to survive my coming. Oh, are you kidding me? Damn, look at this freaking body. Oh my freaking god. Besides me knocking you out, obviously. We are better than you ever will be. Who are you people? The only ones worthy enough to survive what's coming. Whew. Pretty sure this building is gonna fall apart before then. Who the hell? Damn. Thanks. So what's your deal? There you are. Hey. You never did like my smoking. Yuri. Oh shit. Let's call me Wraith. It's pretty well, I think. I tried freaking Yuri. No time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. <laughs> oh shit. And they said it couldn't be done. Ooh, freaking Yuri back. So took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her. And the other on these cultists. Mm -hmm. I need more eyes. Bad. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, this one doesn't have any more.
add an explosive boost to point large propellant further when you press on landings. Yeah. Tap L1 a second time during a Venom Smash to launch enemies into the air. Hmm, interesting. Press circle after an air attack to spring behind your enemy while you're dodging to your air combo. What? That's cool. Sure, let me stop at this first one actually. Or the, the first recording, I mean.